All right, people, here is the deck profile for Blue Eyes. So Blue Eyes was actually the first deck on Daily Duels since this whole monthly rotation thing to stay for a second month, but it could not get a third, which is fine. You know, I had fun with it. I had more fun with it as a tag deck than single. Single, I just could not get the right cards, and it just doesn't go well. And then uh, you guys decided to uh, transfer it over from single to tag, which is uh, you know totally new for me, but hey, it, it was done. And I think it was done pretty well. Uh, since it became a tag deck, I've been doing a lot better with it. I've been getting a lot more plays, and overall, just a, a fine experience for a tag deck. So uh, it is not on daily duels anymore it's being replaced and ironically uh blue eyes is being taken off on tuesday tag and in its place is dark magician so <laughs> just like nah fuck you nigga kai what's all about that yugi but uh yeah so if you haven't checked that uh first duel out already of tagging with dark magicians be sure to but uh while we're here let's go ahead and do deck profile for blue eyes so starting off three blue eyes of course uh three thousand beaters deck bust out some three thousand beaters and that's nothing to scoff at i don't even care blue eyes doesn't have any uh has an effect 3,000, that's, sometimes that's really hard to get over, like, unless you can access that extra deck or have some really great plays, cast it away, 3,000, that's a tough cookie to get over, so, uh, three blue eyes, of course, then three alternate, go ahead and reveal that blue eye special summon it, 3,000 beater, pop a, uh, uh, monster your opponent controls, but it can't attack, but that's fine, that's fine, too, because, uh, just having a 3,000 beater that can pop monsters is really nice. I run two white spirit dragons, it's really cloggy at three, uh, it's not as a go-to as uh, Blue Eyes in a sense, but it's nice. It's treated as a normal monster on the hand or graveyard. And when it's a uh, normal special summon, you get to go ahead and target a spell or trap your opponent controls and banish it. Plays used all the time. It's beautiful. I generally don't use that other effect. Uh, uh, during the play's turn, you can... Uh, if your opponent controls a monster, you can tribute this card to special middle life. I generally don't do that play, but uh, just the whole banishing back row is really nice. Just being able to just drop this white spirit either through uh, summon it during the end phase with uh, ancient white spirit or summon it back from the graveyard through like a, a dragon, I mean a silver's cry during your opponent's turn and then banishing uh, one of their spells and traps is always nice. Let me run a three maiden. Maiden, of course, still the go-to uh, tuner. Uh, spellcaster girl, just when she's targeted by attack or an effect, you can go ahead and summon that blue eyes, even if you're targeted by your own effects, you get to go ahead and summon that blue eyes from your hand deck or graveyard, so that's always nice as well. Uh, then we run three ancient white stones, uh, definitely a great card during the end phase, this card was sent to uh, since they're at this turn, you can go ahead and summon a blue eyes monster from your deck, including white spirit, and then banish a back row. And then also, a second effect, you can banish this card to get a blue eyes uh, from your graveyard and add it back to your hand. That effect is also nice to go ahead and recycle uh, mostly just ancient white, but other plays as well. Uh, you're on one white stone of legend. Uh, the reason why we run it is in case I need to get blue eyes to my hand immediately. Because sometimes there's actually times where I really want that blue eyes in my hand as soon as possible. So uh, if I need to, I can just go ahead and go dragon shrine, send the ancient stone, and then bam, there's the blue eyes. So for example, I have uh, alternate in my hand, but I don't have blue eyes. I can go ahead and go dragon shrine. You know, send like white spirit, send ancient stone. Ancient stone will immediately, unlike a. Uh uh, ancient white stone will immediately give me that blue eyes, reveal the blue eyes, summon uh, the alternate. So it's not as good because of ancient white stone, but it still has a place in here just in case I need to get that blue eyes. And of course, we run three Sage Knight with eyes of blue, the searcher, uh, with a storm summon, add the tuner, and you can uh, discard, then target effect monster, uh, send it to the graveyard, and if you do, special summon a blessing from your deck. So you can go ahead and summon maiden, uh, use this effect. Uh, Targeting, uh, targeting an effect monster, of course, targeting Maiden, uh, then send it to the graveyard to go ahead and summon a blue eyes, and then Maiden will, of course, it was targeted, also summon a blue eyes, so that play is nice as well. So, 18 monsters, not bad. There's a lot of other level 2 tuners, but uh, over time, play in the deck, and I just realized that I, those monsters weren't necessary. I'd rather run a lot more revival, sending monsters to the graveyard, and reviving them. Uh, so, one Regeki, just Regeki, let's go. Uh, melody, uh, two Melody of the Waking Dragon, discard a card and add up to two dragon monsters with 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or more or less defense from your deck to your hand, so pretty much play it, send, discard a card, probably one of these two, which is fine, get blue eyes, get an ancient, uh, I mean alternate, and then bam, there's alternate right there. Uh, it's kind of clogged yet, three, so I dropped a two. Uh, then, uh, I play one engine rules, number generator, sometimes, you know, I'll be drawing them, uh, them, uh, Blue eyes, white dragons can't do anything with them, and or the the white spirit. So I can just go ahead and play ancient rules, and then bam, just special summon from my hand. It's not really worth running multiple because it's not really one of the greatest plays, but it it came in handy. It came in handy. I claimed so clutch and number generator. Let's go, triple twin twister. I am loving twin twister. Like <laughs> I am pretty much throwing triple twin twister on everything just because 
even if I, I discard Twin Twister for Twin Twister, that's still two popping back row, and I just love getting it, popping that back row, I, you know. You guys know that MST is one of my, if not my favorite spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, let's go Twin Twister. I, I'm loving this card, and pretty much, at this point, throwing it in triple in every deck that I feel necessary. Especially in this deck, where I actually like to discard some things. So, yeah, it's actually one of the things that makes Blue Eyes just so powerful. Even against the match against Dark Magician, just them Twin Twister just blowing up all of the Yu-Gi back rows. Just so great. Uh, triple Dragon Shrine. Send the normal dragon, then send another dragon. So uh, we can go ahead and send like a uh, white spirit, and then send like a uh, ancient stone, or we can just send blue eyes. You know, uh, just sending a whole bunch of them dragons, and we have the revival. So uh, dragon shrine putting in that work. Uh, I didn't really feel like it's necessary to run foolish when I'm running triple dragon shrine. Uh, that's you know, while you can take it in a sense, I mean, you're you're still nagging. You're still nagging. You're taking resources, sending cards from the deck to but it's not resources. You're still nagging. But instead of sending one, I could send two as long as I send a normal dragon. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, Dragon Ravine, that's a super neg, because you play the field spell, it's a neg, then you pitch something out of your hand, that's a neg to send, so now. So, uh, Dragon Shrine, in my opinion, is even better than uh, Dragon Ravine, unless you're playing, like, Dracoonities. But, uh, yeah, this card just put in a network in this deck. And then, of course, the Revival. Uh, triple Gospel of Revival, target a level 7 or 8 Dragon-type uh, monster in your graveyard, special summon it, so... Yep, Monster Born for Blue Eyes and all the shenanigans. And also, just to make sure that the card is just, oh my god, so great. If a dragon type monster, monsters will be destroyed by battle by card effect, I can bench this card instead. So, it's also a protection and a revival. Uh, triple Silver Scribe, I said, lots of sending, lots of pitching. So, I'll revive my dragons back. A quick play spell card. Uh, the whole running joke with, uh, with uh, Dark Magician is that we're hoping that Dark Magician will get a uh, card that says just target one spellcaster type normal monster in your graveyard and uh, switch summon that target. Uh, not for Dark Magician, because uh, when one person pointed out, it's like, oh, you have Eternal Soul, that's much better. It's like, yeah, but the point is not to summon Dark Magician, but to summon a normal spellcaster type monster, i.e. Doom Shaman for Super Black Sea Bell. So that's the running joke, that if Dark Magician gets that, then, a dark, then Doom Shaman gets another card. So, yeah. But, uh... I uh, will probably be seeing some uh, Dark Magician plays hopefully soon. Uh, if you haven't seen that already, make sure you do that. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, and then once again, uh, similar to the Morphage, I'm I'm doing the the field spell ratio. Uh, you really got to compare how important the field spell is to get. Uh, and if you're thinking it's absolutely necessary, where you're running you know three of the field spell and three of the terraforming, like absolutely necessary, then you should probably run some chicken game plays to uh, you know. Thin out your deck and make sure you get used out of them terraformings, you know. So if you, for example, like a deck that absolutely needs to fill spells, like trains. So you're in three, your train, your 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 uh, switch yard. You're in three, your terraformings, of course. But then you should also run, you know, maybe I probably in that deck I'd probably say like three three chicken game, play chicken game, uh, pay the life points, draw a card, then switch it out for your switch yard, you know, or get used out of them terraformings because you don't really need to get multiple terraformings or multiple your switch yards, but. Uh, deck thinning is fine. So you got to, to equate how valuable the fill spell is. And this deck, I have uh, found it to be the minimum. Uh, the fill spell is great, but it's not too great in comparison to what I am doing. So I run two fill spell, one terraforming, number generate the terraforming. Uh, you get an additional summon of a level one tuner monster, which is just great. Also playing with an buster blader for that additional normal summon of a level two, uh, level one tuner monster. So you can go ahead and normal summon her, get the search, get an additional normal summon, normal summon your buster blader uh, guy to uh, tuner as well. So that's great. And uh, the second effect, which is actually really good as well, uh, you can go ahead and target one monster control, send one normal monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, uh, gains attack equal to the whatever, who cares. Uh, I don't, I'm not running any burst stream of destruction, so not even worried about that, but pretty much it's just, you know, activate this, target Maiden, send the blue eyes, and then Maiden will go off because it was targeted, so that play is also nice as well, just to make sure that this goes off, or Maiden goes off, or, you know, all of them plays uh, go off. And then Royal Decree because fuck back row in this deck. You know, it's a tag deck. Generally, uh, we go with the Royal Decree. Uh, I can go ahead and take some things out. I could probably drop this down to one, take these out and drop this, and then play like, you know, Solemn Warning, Solemn Judge. I mean, Solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning, Solemn Notice, and like the Vanities. Uh, one Twin Burst. I, 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 since it became a tag deck, I never went into this guy anymore. Uh, I tried to go into him a lot when it was a single, and it did not work out for me. I ended up losing a duel because I decided to go into him instead of one of my Sea Monsters. Uh, but eh, if it's there, it's there. Uh, then Azure Eye, Silver Dragon. 
I, at this point, I couldn't really think of anything else to put in here, so I was like, fuck it. Azurize is the go-to card, so we'll go with that. I go into it more than any other one, even more than Spirit, especially in Tag, because this can possibly lock my, my partner out of play, so all this, I just go ahead and summon it, and my opponent gets to go ahead and summon my Blue Eyes out of the graveyard on their turn, which is nice. Uh, two Blue Eyes Spirit Dragons, pretty good. You can't special... You need to play special summoning two monsters at the same time, so no pendulum summons, that's nice. And it's your only pendulum summoning one. Uh, you can go ahead and negate monster effects in the graveyard, then you can go ahead and uh, tribute it off to special summon him from your extra deck. And then he'll get his effect, because just when he says one special summon, that's nice. Uh, we won one Cloud Castle, never win to him. I could probably maybe drop him down to like two, and then run like a rank nine. It's Cloud Castle, and it's called Synchro Summon, you can target a level nine, uh, level nine monster in your graveyard, special summon it. So... Go ahead and go into Cloud Castle, and Cloud Castle will summon you back one of these guys, and you can go into rank 9. So, yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, maybe, like, uh, the that um, Mecha Phantom Beast guy. I forgot his name. I really did. It's been a while since I've seen him, but yeah. But you can do that play, so I could probably drop him down too and play that. Uh, then Dark Matter, send out some dragons. Full armor, pop a face-up card. Then uh, Prime, so Prime, full armor, pop a card. Put Dark Matter, send a whole bunch of dragons. It's a classic play. Uh, one Hope. Uh, take a, uh, a spell card, really nice. That's pretty much what it's for. Three gonna be that takes spells. In this in this format, that's pretty good. Uh, then Lancer, attack directly for game, and mandatory negate, it's not too terrible. Uh, Thunder N, if I do have two level 8 normal monsters, I can destroy all monsters on the field, not bad. Felgran and uh, Sylvan Princess Sprite. Uh, also playing this in uh, Buster Blader as well. Uh, two level one monsters. That's, that's probably my go-to rank one because generally in a lot of these decks, either you're sending monsters that you don't you you're gonna send monsters which you don't mind sending, or uh, death death material to the top card from deck, and if it's fellow trap, you get to add it to your hand. So you get to not only see next card, but you get it to your hand. So that's pretty good as well. So yeah, run one of her just in case they're not touching any of my level one monsters. I can go ahead and go into this just like in Buster later. So there we go, people. There is my blue eyes deck that I was playing for. Uh, mostly tag. Uh, I changed it when it became a tag deck, and it wasn't doing so hot when it was single, so I'm glad that you guys gave me another uh, month to uh, redeem myself with Blue Eyes. And it was fun. It was fun. I did not mind this as a tag deck. So be sure to go ahead and check out the Daily Duels, the first duel with Dark Magician in tag if you haven't already. So, uh, of course, we will be back tomorrow. Another deck profile and another deck joining. I believe this month not a single deck remains, so we're going to be having deck profiles all week. And new daily duels so you're going to have two daily duels uh, uh, every single day this week so look forward to it so i hope that you guys enjoyed uh thanks for watching thanks for all the support and yeah see you guys tomorrow with another deck profile and another deck uh i believe we're doing the deck profiles for ddd he's finally off and uh you guys know i struggled with that so uh hopefully the deck profile is at least decent and uh dueling with raid raptors raid raptors is now on wednesday so yeah look forward to it all right people thanks for watching